With me now are Sarah Good and Sharon Ellis Hamill. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. Hello. So, so you're here to talk about the Caring Dads program. So let's start and tell our viewers a little bit about what the program actually is. Sure. So the Caring Dads program, it's a 17 week long group intervention program. It's geared towards fathers who have either exposed their children to domestic violence or who have been abusive or neglectful to their children. Um, so it's an intervention program, like I said, it's a group. There's small groups, usually about six to 10 people um, participating in the group at once. We have two facilitators who run it. Sharon is gonna be the primary facilitator. And uh, so I can let her take over a little from there. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about how the program works and. Okay, so it's uh, 17 weeks long, uh, two hours a night, it's once a week, and um, it's men, it's fathers, and uh, it's usually, a, it's myself and usually a male, that's our goal, is to have uh, a male and female facilitator. And um, each week we cover different topics. Um, it's sort of, uh, the goal of it is to, for fathers to build a better relationship with their children, and then in turn that helps build a better relationship with their children's mother. Um, some of the topics we cover are um, learning to kind of ways to handle frustration. Um, as I said, it's child-centered, so it's just different tips and um, things that you can do to, um, you know, build a better relationship. Absolutely. And although this program is brand new to Cornwall, it does have a good pedigree. It originated in London, and mm -hmm. it was developed by a team of, of uh, psychologists as well as uh, child protection workers. That's right. Yeah. Right. So we there's actually, a proven track record. There is yeah. a proven track record and we've actually been lucky we had one of the founders of the program come in and do a group um, train the trainers in February and we just had him come back last week and we trained 20 more people in the area. So we've built up quite a bit of a pool of, uh, of qualified facilitators within the area. And Sharon you talked about the goal and I think at the end of the day it's really to address a different side of, of domestic violence because there are a lot of programs for women yeah, and children sure. especially after the fact but not so much for, for men right now. Mm -hmm. Often men are um, really sort of pushed aside in w these situations so it's one of the few things really in Cornwall that addresses that. Okay. And so how, uh, how can men become a part of this if, they're, if they think they need it, the program, how can they join up? Well they can contact Sarah. Absolutely. Um, so we do have a phone number that they can contact for more information. The phone number is 613-662-7192. There's an email, so it's caringdads at sdccornwall.ca. We can make all that available. Um, we have various different agencies that are working collaboratively with us. Um, a few of which are part of our, our partnership and our, our planning committee. So that includes CAS, um, Counseling and Support Services, the Cornwall Hospital, and Glengarry Interagency Group. Um, so you can get information from any of them, but there are also a number of different agencies within town who have access to pamphlets and referral forms um, if somebody did want to be referred by a professional or if they're seeing somebody already and they want to get a little bit more information without uh, the plunge of, of calling and, uh, and speaking to us directly. Absolutely, and it's important to note as well that the program is completely voluntary. Yes. It is, and free. And free, that's and free. for sure. Yes. Now, uh, just uh, we have about a minute left. Uh, this is a one-year pilot project. The first one has begun. Four more on the way, but the future is a little unclear. That's right. That's right. So we got funding this year through the Ontario Trillium Foundation through a seed grant. Um, we're very, very pleased about that. So that's allowed us to run, like you said, five courses throughout the course of the year. Um, we're running them through Cornwall, uh, Stormont, Dundas and Glengarry and Aquasasne. So we started one last week. Um, not much feedback on that. We've only had one <laughs> session. Uh, however, we are going to be starting the next two in late October and then two more again in late February, early March. So our goal is to make sure that we have completed all five programs before the summer starts um, because we know and we anticipate some of the challenges that can come through trying to engage people through the summer, uh, especially in a 17 week long course, which tends to be quite long. It's a bit of a commitment. Absolutely. Well, ladies, I want to thank you for joining me today. Kudos on all your hard work in bringing this, this program to Cornwall. I wish you the best of luck. I'm sure we'll speak again on, on a, with an update. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thanks very much.